Hi everybody, Andy here from Active Pack and Sue Swim School for those of you who know me. So today we are going to be doing our reset and we're going to have a swimming theme. It's raining so it's in my perfect time. Sue Swim School jumper on on my top. I've got my world famous short tie dye shorts on that I teach in. So I'm a little bit cold. So we're going to do a reset just to get ourselves warmed up and also get rid of some of that energy. And everything is going to be based around swimming. It's a swimming session. Right then guys, so we're starting off our marching like we always do. Now we're going to put our arms out in front of us, big, big stretches. As always, we're going to bring our arm right back. Have a little twist with our hands. We're going to come up and back down again. Now we're going to hold it over to the left. One. Two, three, and then we're going to go all the way to the other side. One, two, three, and we're going to come back in the middle. One, two, three, good. Little roll, make sure you're all ready. So first off, we've got our marching, we've done our stretching. What's next on the list? It's the front crawl. So some of you might be able to do front crawl in the water, some of you might not be able to, but that's fine. It's going to be nice and easy, and we're going to keep our legs going as well today. So our front crawl arms are going to be coming back, elbow up high, and we're going to stretch forward. You can do it slow, or you can do it fast, do what you're comfortable with, but we do it control. So we're going to come on. Come on guys, keep going, big, big stretches, big, big windmill arms. Man, it's cold. We're going to go for a bit more. I'm in a puddle, my trainers are getting wet. Good job I've got my swimming uniform on. And test it. Now, have a little shake. Some of you might be wondering where my goggles are. Well, I lost them. There we go. We all lose that swimming today. So we're going to go back to our marching. Now we're going to do butterfly. So butterfly, we're going to change our legs and we're going to change our arms a bit. So we're going to put our legs together. You're going to look silly doing this one. So our legs are going to start like this. And then we're going to bring our arms up. We're going to go over with our arms and over with our arms. Now some of you might be able to do butterfly, which is awesome. We go for kick, 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 kick. Alright guys, we're going to have about 30 seconds of this. As we know when I'm talking, I always get the timing wrong. So I'm going to be quiet. So you can count how many you're doing. Right, about 20, 30 seconds. Nice and controlled movements with your arms. So we're not just swinging our arms around like loses. Nice. Well, oh, brilliant, it's starting to snow in as well. Just what I want you to do. So we're going to keep going. A couple more. One more. Brilliant. Now, feeling that in my shoulders a little bit. So we're going to keep on marching. Now, we've got another strike. What about breaststroke? Okay, so breaststroke, we're going to go back to our marching legs and our movement. You're going to start off straight, nice, stretchy arms. We're going to pull back nice and slow and push. Okay, we'll go back to the beginning. So, up nice and slow and push and stretch. Up nice and slow and push and stretch. Up nice and slow. Get yeah, that rhythm and push and stretch. And that's why I do my legs, it actually helps me with my timing. Those of you that know me, no, I haven't got the time that I used to have. Okay, so we're going to go back. Oh, that's a cold week. 20, 30 seconds. Big, good stretch. Pull back. Nice and straight. Push. Pull it back. Get that arm back. Big, big push. Get that back nice and straight. Arch that back. Fantastic. Now we do a couple more. I think three more. Let's go one. Pull back. We're going to go two. Pull back. Then we're going to go three. And pull back. Now, if you're not feeling it in your shoulders, what you want to be doing is stretching that little bit further and really, really pulling it back nice and hard, nice and slow. Super, super controlled movements. Right then. I don't know if you can see this snow. It is chilly. So now we've got another stroke to do, haven't we? We've got backstroke. So when we're doing backstroke, we do normal kick your legs. So we're going to keep marching for this one as well. Help us keep our rhythm. Okay, so we're going to go nice and straight. Shoulders back. Nice straight back. You start marching. Fantastic. And then we're going to come back with our arms. Like big, big windmills. Big, big windmills. Big, big windmills. Okay, now when we're pushing back, my thumb comes up 
first, then my little finger goes in first. So we're gonna do this for about 20 seconds. Nice. This is a nice, it's not too hard, but we'll stretch out your arms. I can feel my side stretching out. Fantastic. I'll go a bit faster, a bit cold. Nice. A couple more. One more. Brilliant. If you're feeling a little bit tight, roll up your shoulders. Good old shake always gets the tightness out. Now, we've gone through all of our different strokes. We need something that we use when we're doing competitive swimming. So when we're doing like proper races, you might see on the TV. So it's going to be a bit of an explosive movement. So we need to stop marching. So I'm going to come down, a bit of bend in my legs, and I'm going to jump up. As I jump up, I'm going to put my hands back, my shoulders back, and I'm going to look at the side. We're going to do 10 of them. If you want to make it harder, you can go down a bit further, and you can use that explosive energy to push up faster. I'm just going to do normal ones though, because I might actually lose my head. Okay, you ready? So we're going to go. One, two, three, four. Stick your butt out when you're squatting down. A little bit like frog squats. Six, seven, eight. I think it's nine. I think that's number ten. I'll do one more. Good luck. Good. So, as I say, you can make that trickier by going a little bit lower down, pushing up a bit harder. Now, we've got all the swimming strokes. We've gone through our explosive starts. At the end of the lesson, those of you that I've, I've taught how to swim, you know we do our jumps, don't you? So what we're gonna do, what you're gonna do for as big a jumps as you can. I'm gonna do medium sized jumps, because again, I don't want my head to go out of the shot. So nice and straight with your legs, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna do 15 jumps, you're gonna count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now back to your march. Now some of you, you may know the tuck jump. We can't really do a tuck jump here, we can touch our knees. So we're gonna start with our hands in the air. So that's going to be one. Now, pull my shorts up for this. And we're going to do five. If you finish before me, you can do a couple more. I might take a bit longer because I'm tall. A lot further to go up and down. One. Two. Three. Four. Let me show that you can't too much. Right then, guys, so back to our march. Now, as with every reset session, Stop with a relax. So, feet shoulder width apart, do my funny waddle walk and stop. Hands out, arms out nice and straight, head back, a bit longer than our jumps. Five big, big breaths through our nose and out through our mouth. So, there's one. shake off and we're going to have a cup of tea. There's one last thing though guys, don't forget, stay lucky. I'll see you soon.